hi guys this is Sil Naptules welcome back to our youtube channel my name is Yalreta this channel belongs to my husband and I Simba um, unfortunately he will not be joining me today due to work commitments but I wanted to just share on um, how I became born again how I gave my life to the Lord my journey my Christianity journey and hopefully he gets to share his own on a separate video as well so see you after the break all right let's dive right straight into it so i used to make a joke when i was younger and i would say that i became born again because of food <sighs> could be true so um i moved from korihas to Ochivarango when i was in grade eight uh for in search for better education and when i got to Ochivarango, i was staying in extension six with my uncle and his family so um there was a girl by the name of wandi uh, we were schooling at the same school and um, she was going to a certain church, right? So they used to have youth meetings on Fridays and then she invited me a couple of times and she's like, no, there's games, there's food and what, what. And I was like, no, I'll ask my uncle and the wife for permission to go. But then every other time I'd get home, I think I'll just get distracted and then that's about it. But then this other time, she was like insisting and then i went along and that is like the best thing ever um the youth meeting was really nice uh the games the food the atmosphere the music and just how young people were like hungry for god and i was like i want to be like them so the church is faith assembly of god and i started going for the youth meetings a few months down the line um i started going for their sunday services as well and that is how i gave my life to the lord on one of the sunday services the pastor made an altar call and then i went to the front and then i gave my life to the lord now to go backwards a bit i was raised i was raised in a christian home my mother was born again but at some point um she went okay she was fellowshipping in a pentecostal church and later on she went back to catholic and then she was also one of the elders in the church so i was baptized and i was also confirmed in the catholic church so i knew about god and we would attend sunday school also on uh, from one of the churches that my mother used to go to before she went back to catholic so i think that's when yeah so growing up i was christian but i really just didn't understand the meaning of being born again but now when I moved to Ochivarango, that is when everything happened. And I thank God for such a beautiful encounter. And I thank God also for my friend Wandi. Yeah, so I served in the church up until I was in grade 10. And then I moved now from grade 11 to grade 12 to Wolfish Bay. And I spoke to my pastor. I was like, I want to continue fellowshipping in the same church. Then the pastor um gave me the contacts of the other pastor from the wallfish bay church which is now potter's wheel assembly of god and then i fellowship there for the two years and it was an awesome journey and i was actively in the youth meetings and also um singing a little bit but i wasn't really in the worship team that that time all right so when i now moved to Venduk, then the same story then I just spoke to the pastor, well, give me the context of the Venduk pastors. But when I came to Venduk, the church was so big. Also considering the fact that Venduk is like a very big city and it's really easy to get lost. The first Sunday I found myself at another church also in Hockland Park. Um, and then I was like, no, but I can't, I, I can't recognize anyone from here. Because remember these churches would have like conferences and youth camps and stuff. And that is where i would get to meet people so i'm like looking forward to at least recognizing one or two people i know but i didn't anyway so hockland park um then i walked now from the church just to see the surrounding and whatnot before i can get a taxi and then i saw spa and i was like oh well the people said the church was close to spa oh and then i just crossed and i saw oh here the church is okay hopefully next sunday so then the following sunday then i 
uh, took a cab and i just got dropped off at spa and then that's how i made it to the church and i fellowshiped in the Vendu church which is now highlands assembly of god for my duration of the four years that i was at unem before i moved to south africa and i'm now back at highlands that is where i met my husband as well um in my second year at unem i got to be a youth leader in highlands after so many years of fellowshipping in this church and i was very excited i served together with a brother by the name of reginald and yeah we had a really great time and then i also served in the worship team so that's my journey with god not much has really changed from the time i gave my life to the lord up until i was at unem but when i went to south africa um I don't think I could find the church there. Like, you know, like you in a completely new country. You just, this just, it's scary. You've, we've heard about the thing, so it's a bit scary. So in South Africa, when I was there, um, a friend of mine was fellowshipping at his people that time, now every nation. And I started going with her because there was free transport from campus and we fellowship there for that whole year and it was amazing it was during the time of the change over from um his people to every nation so the conferences and the music and everything was just really awesome when she left came back to venduk then i was left alone in south africa then i just saw a post that when i was on my way to campus that um Okay, there's like Sunday night life at Rema Church. Sunday night life is like usually young people. And then, yeah, um, saw the time and the pickup time for the bus from our campus was like around 5.30. So the one day I went and I was absolutely captured. And then that year I fellowshiped at Rema Bible Church in, is it Ro in Rosebank? Is it Rosebank? Oh my goodness. Yeah, South Africa and, and I think it's now sometime in the year. After that, I came back and I'm back at Highland. So that is my journey with, with the churches that I've been in and stuff like that. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to our channel for more information, more exciting topics. Thank you.